I'm Andrea. Welcome to our channel. We are so excited about today because we are going to be playing a game called Never Have I Ever. And guys, we're gonna to be totally honest. Some of these things <laughs> we're not gonna be proud of, um, but it's just normal mom life, so we're just gonna put it all out there. Yes, and this is the mom edition. Okay, so first question. Have you ever gone more than two weeks without bathing your kids? Of course we have to start with this one. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> and I have. Um, that's because we started this in hopes of reaching other moms. And so things got hectic. My Thursdays are usually to get caught up. And let's just say I wiped him down a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've gone probably a week, but never more than two weeks. So you definitely beat my record there. <laughs> Whoops. Question number two. Have you ever had a natural birth? I have never had a natural birth. I have given birth twice, um, and they were both epidurals. I was too scared to go natural, so props to you. I didn't do it by choice. Okay. <laughs> so first one, I wanted to do natural, and I was, everything went so quickly. I ended up getting the epidural when I was eight centimeters, and I was so traumatized and shaking, and I said, who would ever want to do this? Props to the people who want to. I told myself I would never want to do that again shaking, pain, it was so scary. Um, fast forward to our third one, it went so fast, there was no epidural. So even though I never wanted to do it after that, I still ended up having to. Okay, next question. Never have I ever accidentally locked my kids in a car. So, funny story. I have never, my kids were accidentally locked in a car, but it was her fault. <laughs> <laughs> we were in downtown Chicago going to the planetarium or one of those free days. Museum. We had the kids in the back, three little ones all the way in the back, and so their seatbelts were like super snug. In but, car seats, yes. strapped in. When I got out of the car, she pressed lock. I did not press lock. We and closed the doors. doors. And, when, and I left my keys in the cup to get all the kids out and get them all ready in the cup holder. And sure enough, all the kids are locked in there, all five of them. And so... Screaming and crying. Yeah. I mean, once they realized, like when we were talking, I think they started crying once we were talking through the glass, like, you have to unbuckle. And they're like, I can't. And of course, that moment turned into crying and nobody could for probably at least 10 to 15 minutes because we did call the police department. They couldn't find where we were. Long story short, one of the kids ended up sliding under the seatbelt and coming to the front and pressing unlock. Yeah, so she saved them all. <laughs> but it was, it was definitely her fault. <laughs> so next question. Never have I ever accidentally washed a disposable diaper. Yes, and it is the worst. It is. It's bad. Stuff gets everywhere. Those yeah. little, like, I don't even know what they are. Yeah, the little like the jelly, jelly things. Inside. Yeah, it's horrible. And I used to, I cloth diapered my oldest, too. And so I would obviously have to wash diapers all the time. And sometimes, because I was sleep deprived, I would throw my disposable diapers into the diaper pail with the cloth diapers. So it happened, like, way too often. It was horrible for my washing machine. It was horrible just to, like, get it out of all the other stuff. It was disgusting. It's really bad. What do you do to actually handle it? You Spray just it out, out yeah. <laughs> manually. It took yeah. forever. I just was thinking maybe you have a better solution. No. Nope. Next question. Never have I ever reached my hand in a toilet to retrieve whatever accidentally fell in. Yes. I think anyone with kids has probably done this one because kids are notorious for dropping things in toilets. <laughs> At least mine are. I think even a toothbrush at one point, which I obviously did not get back to my kids to brush their teeth with. <laughs> Consequence, here's a toothbrush. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> no, but we ended up throwing it out. But I, I mean, other stuff, like even toys. They've dropped like toys in the toilet and they're crying yeah. and screaming because they want them back. And I'm, part of me is just like, you know what? We're just going to flush it. But yeah. I remember the most recent one was our four-year-old dropped her necklace in there. Ooh. Yeah, like a special necklace, not like a toy one. Did you actually like, stick your hand in it or did you try something else first? No. Yeah. Just went right in. Well, hold on. You have to also think, is the water flushed? I know it's not clean per se, but is it flushed or are there stuff in there, right? That's different. So if there's stuff in there, I feel like I, you know, put a glove on or something or try something to get it out. Yeah. Otherwise. My husband before has used a, like a clothes hanger, one of those wire hangers, oh. and he like broke it apart. So it's just like a hook at the bottom. <laughs> 
and he was able to get stuff out that way. Sense. But I'm too sleep deprived to think of things like that. So I just yep. stick my hand right in there. I think because between like catching vomit and being pooped on and all that stuff, you're yeah, like, you don't even gotta get it done. Face. Let's do it. Yeah. Doesn't even face you anymore. <laughs> all right. Next question. Okay. Never have I ever yelled at someone else's kid for bullying my kids. Ooh. Hold on. Yelled. Ish. Which one did you say? I said, yes, I have ish. I've never I've like yelled. I try not yeah. to even yell at like my kids. That's why I did this one. Yeah. But I have like reprimanded another kid for like at the park. There was this one time this kid, it was like. I don't know, a four-year-old boy, my kids are two and three, and I kept coming up to them and literally like pushing them on the ground. And like the parents were just on their phones and not saying anything. So I like grabbed his arm, not like me, but like to pull him away from my kids. And I was like, hey buddy, we don't do that. Let's play nice. And I mean, he stopped after that, but if the parents aren't gonna say anything, like I'm just gonna let my kids get beat up and get traumatized and yeah, never wanna go to the park again. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Never have I ever paid for something that my kids broke. I have never had to, but that's because, go ahead, wait for your answer. <laughs> yeah. So I have not either, but my kids have broken something that I offered to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> and a funny story, this is also with her. Uh, we went to her house and she has like this really pretty wallpaper on her bathroom. And my kid was still potty training, so he was like sitting on there forever to try to pee. So I just left him in there. I was just letting him do his thing, and we're like in the other room talking. And then I come back, and like a big strip of her wallpaper is missing. <laughs> and he's just like playing with it and curling it up. I felt terrible. I felt so bad. So I offered to pay for it. That's true. Yeah. She didn't make me make me pay for it, but she just did. What did you do? Tape it back I up? I did tape it. I <laughs> took the pieces as best as I can, put it on, taped, put it on, taped. Yeah. It was bad. But my kids normally are really good and they do not break stuff. Like even at the store, they know not to like touch things. So we do a lot of look with your eyes, don't touch it. Yeah. Next question. Never have I ever celebrated when someone canceled plans with me because it meant I didn't have to get dressed, put on makeup, or clean the house. <laughs> okay, so we differ on this one. Probably because I'm the extrovert and she's the introvert. Yes. <laughs> um, I actually don't mind people coming over, but sometimes I just need like a chill day to be by myself and relax. Um, and I don't want to get dressed every day and like, do this, put on all my makeup every day, and I just want to just like, I don't know, lounge out my PJ sometimes. I have not. I think because being the extrovert, I think sometimes when people, when people cancel, I think, oh, that was my time to get away um, or have some mom time, then I'm more disappointed. And not necessarily because of them, just disappointed. Like the extrovert in me is like, oh man, I could have had some mom time, but I didn't. No. I like people, I promise. <laughs> just not all the time. Never ever have I ever thought that I would homeschool. Yep. I actually did not think I would homeschool. I don't, I think a lot of people don't even consider it. It's just, there's such a small population that does it in terms of when I grew up, I only know of a family who did it. And so when you don't really know about it, I don't think it's your number one option. Um, so I never thought we would, and I think the only reason we did is because when we lived at our old place, it wasn't the best school district, so our oldest came home with just some things that we were not happy about. She asked some questions that were not appropriate for kindergarten, and so we pulled her out halfway through, and then we haven't looked back. Yeah, so I also never thought I would homeschool. And my kids are two and three, so we're not there yet. I have started like doing homeschooling type things with my oldest, and I'm actually considering homeschooling now. My husband's not 100% on board, um, but it's funny because before I would kind of like ask her, when are you gonna be done homeschooling? When are you sending your kids back to school? And you know, I also I just wanted more mom time with her, but um, I wasn't really like, I wasn't familiar with homeschooling, so I wasn't, I don't know, a big fan of it. And now that I've done more research, I'm actually considering it for our family. So next question, um, never have I ever left the house without an extra set of clothes when my kid had a blowout. So mine is ish, 
Yeah, so my kid wasn't in diapers anymore. He was potty training. Um, he didn't have a blowout, but he like peed on himself in the car seat and I forgot to bring extra clothes. And so <laughs> my daughter was wearing a dress. Um, so <laughs> she was already covered. So I took off her underwear and I put them on my son. <laughs> and then I had like a sweater and I tied it around his waist so you couldn't really like see the like Moana panties he was wearing. <laughs> And I had them in like a red wagon, we were at a park, and I tried to like cover it with blankets, you couldn't see like his bottom half. Um, there was parts where like he wanted to get out and play a little bit, so he's running around in little girl's underwear with like no pants on. Um, but he had a sweater. He did have a sweater, so his backside was covered. You tried. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like 30 minutes from my house, so there was like no way I was going to like drive all the way back home just to get him a pair of pants and then go back, so that would have been like an hour. So, he rocked those underwear that day. <laughs> Next question, ever have I ever used my hands or clothing to wipe the snot from my kid's nose? <laughs> this is a gross one. <laughs> this is one of those where we don't want to be honest. <laughs> but I think I think a lot of moms would answer yes to this yes. question. I, I would hope, and we're not just really gross. <laughs> I think the question is what you do with it once it's on your hands. So let me build a scenario here so it doesn't turn into, oh, I grab a paper towel. Okay, you have no paper towels, you have no wipes, you are out in public. Where do you wipe it? <laughs> yeah, that's that's when I've used my, I, so what I usually do is I lift up my shirt and like the underside where no one can see, I just do a quick like pinching up the nose and get the snot on there and then I cover back up, nobody knows it happened. <laughs> it's disgusting because it's like against my skin at that point, but you know what, I've been like covered in poop and like vomit and stuff with my kids, so like, a little bit of snot is nothing. It's true. <laughs> I usually will clean it and then I put it on the bottom of my pants, the inside of the bottom of my pants. I know, it's so gross. Close enough. Yeah. Mine is touching my belly, yours is touching my leg. <laughs> Just don't tell our husbands because they're gonna think it's disgusting. <laughs> All right, and that's it for today. Hopefully that gave you a glimpse a little bit more into our lives as moms, and I bet a lot of moms can relate to us. Um, feel free to drop, drop a comment down below, just things that you've done, um, maybe that have been similar to ours or just your own way of approaching some of these things. I think it'd be awesome to read through some of these too and get some good laughs of what we go through as moms. If you enjoyed watching, feel free to like our video or to subscribe to our channel.